tonight on Rex to Riches. Barry White's looking for treasure. Now, you should be able to do this in four or five days. An old wreck to buy for pennies. Look, all it needs is a tune-up. Sure. And sell at auction for a fortune. This thing's been sitting for 20 years. Nothing five gallons of Bondo wouldn't take care of. He's hunting for a 1970 El Camino. Everybody's been kind of requesting a truck. To build a Barry White first. Super muscle truck. Is this Barry's dumbest idea yet? They're goofy and they're crappy. I think this is the stupidest idea on the planet. There's trouble ahead. I want the damn things now. For this super muscle El Camino. He's negative 105 units. I'm gonna go jump off the building now. 8600! How to make a buck. The Barry White way. Just rip that out of there. Find a wreck. That's exactly what we're looking for. Sleep it underneath there? <laughs> Get the right people. Jen, do something. What do you want me to do? I don't want to hear that. Go draw something. The right parts. Easy, 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 easy. And go to work. Bring it on. Then hope. It's flawless. Someone wants to buy it. Let your money bring you happiness. That's how you get from Rex to riches. Yeah! At Barry White Speed Shop in Corona, California, there's always a gaggle of hot rods under construction. His customers want the latest technology in the coolest designs. And Barry doesn't disappoint. But after more than 20 years in the business, Barry's taking on another challenge. He's finding muscle car wrecks given up for dead and flipping them into showroom classics to go under the hammer at prestige auto auctions. Show the car! There's money to be made here if he picks the right car. For his next project, he sought inspiration from his fans. What I'm thinking is, everybody's been kind of requesting a truck. Yeah, all well, was. Yeah. there's only two things to choose from in the truck line that's a muscle car, and it'd be either an El Camino or a Ranchero, so. What do you think, Tony? Absolutely. I had a three El Caminos growing up, so that's really? kind of my favorite thing of mine. What years? Designer Chris Brown and paint and body guy Tony Correa helped Barry make his magic. They troll junkyards and websites for the perfect wreck. Not too expensive and not too far gone. Hey, Frank. Hey, this is Chris. Hey, uh, didn't you say you had a couple El Caminos over there at your yard? Yeah? Well, we might be interested in one of those. One of their favorite wreck wranglers is Frank Bichetti. Well, you wanted a project, right? You know, you you <laughs> no, Frank, you understand our definition of a project. And this is it? This would be a project. Now, you should be able to do this in four or five days. You're here to amuse us, won't you? Look at that. Wow. Look, all it needs is a tune-up. Barry doesn't want to spend more than four weeks on each project. You know, Frank, I'm thinking this might be a little further away than we want to be. Yeah. And yeah, this one's a lifetime assignment. Right. You think you could straighten this out in a week, Tony? Got an extra motor part. <laughs> we, got a valve. we have we have one fender already removed for you. Well, I'd just like Fire to say one, one thing, Frank. I think you've outdone yourself again. This is Barry's goal to reproduce a working muscle car. The Chevy El Camino is a classic of the muscle era. It hit the road in 1959, promising to be half car and half truck. You know, you got the car ride, but you still have the use of a pickup truck. And when Chevrolet dropped in a 454 big block, working became very cool. They're pretty badass cars. El Camino is Spanish for the road. The split personality wasn't for everyone, and at first, it only appealed to small business America. Originally, it started out as more of a fashion statement than anything. Those cars seem to be very popular. Um, a lot of places, you know, florists or small delivery services. But Barry doesn't plan to sell flowers. He wants to build a super muscle truck. So this is the uh, number two car? Yeah, now this one. We're in a, a little better shape. Frank has a second option. 
Well, that's a that's always a plus. I'll, I'll go ahead and throw in all the new fan belts. <laughs> <laughs> the interior is nice. Yes. Nice, warm, cold cotton. Nice. It's the new leather. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a little rust in it, Tony. <laughs> this thing's been sitting for 20 years. Not, uh, nothing five gallons of Bondo wouldn't oh, take uh, care of. Come on. <laughs> I'm sure this would make it a lovely car for someone. But I don't just, think it's uh, what we're looking for. That would be strike two for Frank. It's in your mind forever, huh? Barry's mind's in a way different place. Yeah! Yeah, yeah! He's thinking of an auto auction in Reno. In a month, he wants to make a killing here. Hook up with some big spending muscle car fans looking for something outside the box. Look at her, 42 Chevrolet Coupe. Thousands of buyers come from all around the country each year to put their money where their heart is. Hold on, Ralph. I know you got the money, Ralph. Barry wants a piece of the action. All done. This guy sent Back at the office, Chris has found plan B on the net. It's a 69 El Camino with some life left in it. I mean, it's got a little surface rust on it. It doesn't look horrible. It's got a nice, attractive shell on it. That's a, obviously it hasn't been running a while. Looks like it'll run, huh? Yeah. No, it doesn't look bad at all, actually. Yeah. No, I like I like that year, and that looks good. We can put a, uh, a cow hood on it and yeah, a big block in it, maybe. And Absolutely. Super muscle truck. That's right. Will it check out in real life? Here's the car we talked about. Cool. Chris and Tony are about to find out. This is a 70, correct? Yes. What are you thinking, man? You haven't vacuumed the carpet in a while. <laughs> no. I don't think he's driven in a while either, Tony. <laughs> Rust is their enemy. It takes too much time to fix and burns money they may never get back at auction. How's it look in there? Well, this back panel's got rust. Like I said, my biggest concern is right there. The El Camino was a working car for moving stuff and driving hard. But over 35 years, weather does the most damage. So this canopy might have just saved Barry's bacon. But I'm guaranteed we're going to have to replace that back panel. Other than that, I think that's probably the worst part of the whole truck. Time to call Barry. Hey, Barry, we're over taking a look at that El Camino. Um, sort of uh, a bunch of surface rust and some cobwebs. Right. Doesn't look like a bad car. Well, what's, he, what's he want for it? I was looking for about 1500 Is Tony happy with it? Well, you know what? Uh, outside of the back panel, I think this is a pretty good car. I'll offer him 1000 bucks cash. Tom will give him 1000 bucks cash for the car. I mean, I think that's a screaming deal. OK, I'll ask. All right, bye. Um, would you take 1000 for it? Boy, you guys drive a hard bargain. Cash? OK. We'll give you, you cash. I can do that. All right. OK. I think we got a deal, then. All right. Thank you. All Appreciate right, Appreciate your time. Thanks. As the battered rack rolls into the shop, there's a big El Camino fan waiting. Is that pretty or what? Bobby Scott has just joined Barry's shop. He's a skilled fabricator and El Camino devotee. He needs a little work. Definitely needs some work. Yeah, Bobby actually has a 69 El Camino that uh, his dad actually originally owned. So he's kind of into the whole El Camino thing. Me and my dad, we were always together, really close, father and son. And he had taught me how to work on cars. That's where I first learned how. And it was just always a joy to uh, work on it with my dad. And then he had just recently passed away in 2000. So I took it over and continued finishing it and kept it in the family. Barry likes his guys to feel like family. They practically live together. He's around, and my father's not. And it'd be kind of a, a real nice thing to work on it with Barry and just kind of get that old, warm, fuzzy feeling back again. But he's definitely watching down right now, checking it all out. He's definitely going to be proud of this one. We'll bomb it. Barry knows the importance of a close family. 
His wife, Becky, and daughter, Jen, help run the speed shop. Jen, what are you doing? Get a screwdriver, get a something, let's go. Yeah, I don't know, I think I, I got bumped on the head, so I hired her full time. <laughs> Here goes the hood. A very white super muscle car is rebuilt from the ground up. <laughs> Come on, Karen, we need help. Every piece of the vehicle is replaced or refurbished. You know, these parts are actually in pretty good shape. Somebody would love to have these. Steering, brakes, and running gear will be all new for 21st century performance and handling. What are you doing? Get up. I'm not doing Get anything. Get your butt back over here. If only Barry could super muscle his family. This Cook. is hot. Let's hook. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go. Let's go put it on top of Jen's Chevelle. No. Yes. We're good. It's looking pretty damn good. I'm happy. Uh, transmission and converter. In the coming weeks, part yeah, supplies will make or break the deadline. Moroso, Barry's making point. sure nothing slips through the cracks. Uh, if the parts aren't here, we're going to know they're not here before they're not here. And uh, everybody just needs to go buy all the paperwork. And so far, the paperwork is working. Barry, hey, James, we got parts. Doing? Excellent. Here's all kinds of stuff. Excellent. Perfect. Because he got the wreck so cheap, Barry's splurging on new body panels to save time. Hey, let's guess what part this is. Distributor cap. Seats. There you got everything. Fenders, hood, gas tanks, uh, patch panels. One happy customer. But Barry's spendometer is cranked hard. $10,000 so far. And 70 work hours. OK, so. But in Tony's paint shop, Seems not all the parts have arrived. Yeah, you know, how bad are these hinges? Oh. Or how are the hinges? Are they any good? Or? There's a lot hanging on these hinges. They're the first piece in Tony's panel puzzle. This being loose like this can cause this door not to open and close correctly. So we need to replace this hinge. What? Did you check hinges in? Door hinges in? No, they're back ordered. They're back ordered. OK. Chris, uh, those hinges for the El Camino, I didn't see, see anything. A big speed bump. Because we don't need to say, well, they're on the back order. I don't want to hear that. I want the damn things now. Tony needs the hinges to hang the doors before he can hang the fenders. And he needs to hang the fenders before he can hang the hood. When are we going to get some hinges? Did they in the order from OPG? You said they were back order earlier. What? In order to line up the sheet metal correctly, the doors have to be set first. Thanks. Yep, Tony's going nowhere. He's negative 105 units. Barry's ordering system just crashed and burned. <laughs> 21 days to the silver auto auction in Reno, one of the richest in the country, and Barry White wants in. 25, no 25. He's hoping his fans have got it right. Everybody's been kind of requesting a truck. Barry's building a super muscle truck, an El Camino he picked up for a song. Offer him a thousand bucks cash. We'll give you cash. I can do that. All right. Super muscle truck. It's a Barry White first, but a truck could be risky. My God, it. Twenty-two five. Will Reno go for it? How about give me a start? Start. 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 Designer Chris Brown is bringing Barry's vision to life. They want it tough but simple. Well, I think what we want to do with this car, because we're putting the chrome strip on the side, we don't want to overpower that with a bunch of crazy graphics all over the car. Um, some of the cars we've done, we've kept it simple. Some of them have gone more complex. At Tony's paint shop, the panel work has finally started, despite the lack of new door hinges. Tony's guys had to build their own. Basically. We had to fix a few problems that didn't line up, you know, and uh, we had to figure, figure a few things here while the geometry wasn't right on some hinges. And we figured it out, but it just all takes time. Uh, most of these that you saw from the factory had two stripes, two racing stripes going down the hood. Um, you know, we can't leave anything alone, so we've got to kind of make it our own. Looks good on paper, but how long until Tony makes it real? How much more, Gavino? Huh? How much more time? 
Some maybe in two hours more. Two hours? Yeah. Okay. All right. We gotta. This is gonna be primer today because we're gonna take the body off the chassis tomorrow morning. What we're gonna do is actually one stripe going down the center, and it's gonna be the semi-gloss black, and it'll have the SMC or SMT uh, logo right across the nose. So it's gonna be a nice, simple graphic. Um, it's not gonna fight the chrome strip that's on the side that we wanna build, and it's gonna give the car a really classy look. Tony, how are we doing on the uh, paint on the Alcamino? Well, we're Barry wants that classy look now, and the heat's yeah. on Tony. Body, it should be painted by Friday or Monday. Friday, sounds good. Monday sounds better, because you, Friday want, a, sounds better to you me. want a good job or a lousy job? I want, I want the best job, but I still want it by Friday. Check that side, Bobby. On the bottom. Everyone wants the best job, especially shop hand Bobby Scott, who's building this one in memory of his dad. Yeah, I can't wait to see it painted. It's gonna bring back some serious memories on this one. This is gonna be a good car build. The El Camino and the workload is split. On, uh, Bobby and the no. team will work on the chassis while Tony gets the body painted. We want a nice job. We want this car to look better than most of them. The next car you always try to make better. And we're not going to make it better if we aren't rushing. Perfection drives these guys, no matter what the deadline. Barry's not asking for much, just quality and speed. Hopefully Friday we'll have this thing painted. You'll have it. After it's painted, I can put the body back on the chassis. So if I'm ready with the chassis by Friday, yeah. I'll, that'll put the heat on you. We'll see. <laughs> or else I just won't listen. Well, you do that a lot. Get that, that one off of that side, just drop the whole thing out of the unit. The chassis is stripped of its past and reborn with all new components. Bobby did this with his dad 20 years ago, but he hasn't forgotten how. Just ask his partner. Oh my gosh, this is his dream job. It was so cool for him. He came home just almost in tears. He was so excited. So I'm so glad to see him happy and um, he enjoys going to work and he loves what he does and that's the most important thing in life is that no matter what, you like what you do. You know, my dad helped me build my first car too, so um, kind, of a, kind of a neat thing. Perfect. What's going on with the engine and the suspension? Well, we've got several updates on... Barry has big plans for the engine. He's ordered a custom John Barrett 506. It'll have the super muscle truck going sideways in no time. It may just take too long to get here. They're not gonna have them till tomorrow, so they're gonna ship them tomorrow. Yeah. Barry will have to pull something out of his hat to stay on schedule. Make a couple calls. Have Edelbrock send the heads here. I'll put the thing together. Okay. I, uh, we don't have a choice. I haven't built an engine probably since I was uh, racing, so I'll get Becky to help me. She used to help me build all my race engines anyway. Looks like the former drag racer is coming out of retirement. I mean, we don't have any choice at this point. No, we, we don't. I gotta have that. I gotta have the chassis put together with the engines and trans sitting in it on the weekend. Okay. And then we're not gonna be as screwed as we are right now. But right now we are. This is ridiculous. Oh. With the auction in 14 days, Barry is caught between a wreck and a hard place. No engine, no build, no Reno. In just two weeks, Barry White hopes to bring his latest creation here. The Silver Auto Auction in Reno, Nevada. Now look at the paint job, you can dive into it. Almost every make imaginable will go under the hammer here. But are they ready for Barry's super muscle truck? Yeah. For 1,000 bucks, Barry's got himself a 1970 El Camino, a classic of the muscle car era. Now his team is racing to get it finished in 14 days. So, right here, one, Barry hasn't brought a truck to auction before, but his fans wanted one. Let's hope the fans have money. The El Camino chassis is stripped and the body is finally ready for paint. Like the red? It's an orangey red. Very, very, very nice red. I like it. 
Barry and paint guy Tony know how to get bidder's attention. With three coats of cherry red and three coats of clear, this El Camino could be seen from the moon. You know, red's a good color for uh, selling a car, because a lot of people like red. You want as bright a car as you can. You know, it's that one that stands out in the crowd. It's going to be the one that hopefully people want to buy. That's good. That's really nice. This car is going to look beautiful. Beautiful at a price. $18,000 on the spendometer so far and 120 work hours. Meantime, designer Chris Brown has gone back to the drawing board. But this time, his canvas won't be metal. He's designing a tattoo for Bobby. A little excited, a little nervous. It's going to be good. It's worth it. It's going to be fun getting some fresh ink again, having my son next to me and having the car done. And I know Dad's watching down on it all. Well, this is something I've certainly never done, is design somebody's tattoo for him. But, uh... You know, Bobby's uh, El Camino really means a lot to him. It was something that, that was uh, a very personal thing between him and his dad. Bobby wants to remember this build and his father forever. It's going to uh, bring back a lot of memories. And then I think on, when, if, when it's on your arm, so it's going to kind of twist around your arm like right. this. Like you have it on there in the other direction, just kind of rolling around racing down my arm. That'll be cool. Yeah. In Bobby's world, an El Camino isn't just another ride. It's family. What do you think, Bobby? Yep. Then I put the little skeleton hand in there. Anyone who hooks up with Bobby knows the road runs long through his life. I'm telling you, I cannot compete with this girl. She, she overrides everything. <laughs> it looks incredible. It turned out so nice. It's perfect. It's, it's absolutely perfect. It's, it's just what he needed to kind of complete, maybe closure for his dad's death. Oh, baby. You're the man. <laughs> Back at Barry's speed shop, the truck is out of paint and ready for polish. It has to gleam on the auction floor. The rebuild can start, and Bobby wouldn't miss it, even though he's had hardly any sleep. Turned out good. Sat there for uh, five hours Friday night. Got home, I think, at uh, almost 2 o'clock in the morning. Didn't sleep. That's the side I sleep on, so I was on my back all night. The way this works, Bobby? Tailgates are a new concept at Barry's speed shop. Tony's not real sure how they work. Bobby sets him straight. Because when that opens up, the tension's going to be on the spring. The tailgate drops. All right. OK, you'll see. Your side's got to go in first, just because of the way it's designed. Perfect. The dash has been refurbished. But the wiring is all new. Barry's auto electrician, Garrett, ain't convinced the truck is the right way to go. Kind of goofy looking, you know, half car, half truck kind of a deal. Can you say they're goofy looking? It's goofy I looking. I think they're goofy and they're crappy. I think this is the stupidest idea on the planet. And I think there's something wrong with you. I think you have, you know what you're going to be remembered for? The guy who hates El Camino. That's right. <laughs> Popping on there yet. We're just gonna see if we get it in the right spot. Garrett's singing a lonely song. This is the El Camino fan club. Even Bobby's daughter wants in. Right here? Yep, but we need the other side. The chrome trims are a classic touch. Something Bobby and his dad knew a long time ago. This car, this is the same car, Bob. Bobby, this is the exact same car except the front end. It's identical. The whole car is the same. The only difference is the front end. That's it. But I like cars better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Now 
Bobby would never part with his dad's truck, but Barry can't be sentimental about his El Camino. It's cost him almost $30,000 and 180 work hours, and he needs to get it all back with interest at Reno. Clips. With nine days before auction, Chris has news on the engine. It's all bad. What's wrong now? Got an email from John Barrett. This is that the uh, number five cam bearing journal was uh, 700,000 small. Great. Barry was planning to put the engine together himself, but parts are still missing. He, he can't gone. afford another delay. We'll the, the next engine. Thanks for the great news. I'm gonna go jump off the building now. Car worshipers, car collectors, and plain old tire kickers are heading to Reno for the silver auto auction. I'm on! Barry White will be there too, but he's not buying. He's taking this 1970 El Camino, which his team are transforming into a super muscle truck. SMT. Only problem is, with eight days till auction, the muscle has gone missing. So we're not gonna have the money. We're not gonna have the motor till Monday. Thanks for the great news. And Barry may have another problem, discipline. He's gonna hit the focus. Very Perfect. Fun. This is the shop junior, Cooper, and that's his mom's car. I'm the Cooper. Without the engine, the build has ground to a halt, and everyone's, well, relaxing. Uh, we just can't afford to waste this much time. But this new arrival puts an end to all that. One week late, the El Camino's custom engine arrives in pieces, but at least there's all the pieces. Where's those guys from Edelbrock? And they come with a rescue team. Barry won't have to build the engine after all. These guys want to get the El Camino back on the road fast. This is probably going to make 100 or more horsepower, more than the original you could have, what you could have bought in this car. 550 horsepower is headed for the truck, teased out of the 506 John Barrett big block. Go up a little bit. Right there. Problem we got is how long those bolts in the back of hits. The flywheel. There's only one guy happier than Barry right now. Okay, okay, tighten it up. And that's Chris. He's off the hook. What are you looking at me for? Because you're funny looking. Okay, go draw something. Leave me alone. The 506 will breathe fire, so Barry's fitting a three inch stainless steel exhaust system to squeeze the most out of it. This is a big engine that's gonna make some, some serious torque and sort of serious power, so the, the more free flowing the exhaust is, the better performance you're gonna get out of the engine. Engine and exhaust add a hefty hit to the spendometer. Now hitting 36 grand and 210 work hours. With the engine in, the team can finish off the front end. Tony's been waiting to rehang his precious panels. Um, the whole front needs to go up. Go up? Yeah, because I got a big gap here, no gap down here. Well, I know we're caught on this inner fender wheel. There we go. Chris ordered new fender wells, but Tony thinks he screwed up. This piece of is not going to work with this plastic fender well. This thing's so piece of, piece of junk. What's up? The fender well. It's not even close to being the fender well for this car. Bobby may be the El Camino expert here, but Barry White knows a thing or two about mixing old and new. Because I remember gems. They, they actually go there. You're kidding. No, they're on the outside. They, I remember what we went through this last time, and it was a big deal. Because you told me that they went that way because we went and looked at another car. So many wrecks, right so little memory. The team need to get their act together. There's less than a week to auction. Dean, I told you you were supposed to watch Tony. Hey, hey, hey. Not help him mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> but 
Sorry. Grab those brackets and those washers and everything. Gorgeous radiator. Hey, Adam. You can't put inch and a half hose on the end of it. I'll fix it. No problem. We could just duct tape it on. Or sleep it like that. No. I like it better silver. Hey, look at that. Passenger rear. <laughs> oh, I'm a genius. Somebody take an eyeball off of that and make sure that's straight. Jen, get down low and make sure this is following that piece. Go that in now. Slide it this way. And we're going to uh, put this bad boy on here. The El Camino is starting to look like a super muscle truck. With all new disc brakes front and back and sports suspension, this puppy should be a dream to drive. Scratch it. When they get the drive shaft. Yeah, we're a couple days out, probably still, and just doing some little stuff. We've got some fittings, some fuel lines, and uh, trans cooler, and still waiting for the drive shaft. I didn't know, I don't know where that went. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you call the drive shaft people and find out why that there's been two guys over here to measure it and we still don't have a drive shaft? Okay, I'll go check out the drive shaft. When the engine is hooked up, it will turn Chris's custom-designed wheels. We're actually gonna do our own Magnum 5-spoke wheel. It looks a little bit like the old Magnum 500, which was what a lot of these cars came with. Um, and it's it's a real kind of tough-looking wheel. It works perfect for a truck. All right, those so, look good. So they changed, they just changed this? Yeah, this, this okay. is a little bit different. But. The 18-inch fronts and 19-inch rears will get a dash of paint from the Prince of Pigment. Uh, That'll make it easier for Tony to paint. Yeah, yes. This should be easy to mask off. Just gonna mask around this edge, paint the whole window that kind of dark charcoal color. Argent is what I heard it, they call it. I believe they do call it Argent. Do you think it's Argent? I think no. so. Okay. Great. No, it's gray. It's gray. I, I thought well, all the great. muscle cars, they say Argent wheels. Well, OK, that's the sissy way of saying I call it gray. There's not a color Tony hasn't seen. <laughs> and not an El Camino bumper Bobby doesn't like. <laughs> New shoes have arrived for the soon-to-be Argent wheels. Trouble is, they're too thin. Too short. That's a 35. You order those? Yeah. Nice job. Hey. Yeah. The profile is too low for Barry. 26 inches? It's a 35 tire. When do we ever use a 35 tire? Well, Have guess, we? Guess we're not going to start now, are we? No, I don't okay. want to start now. We never used a 35 on the rear of a car. I mean, the sidewall's like an inch and a half, two inches, and it just looks wrong. So. Now we gotta hunt up a new pair of back tires. So there's a few things to tidy up. You ready or not? Now they're ready for the biggest milestone. Time to make music. Okay, here we go. You already out of gas? It's barely spraying. Yeah, but it, I mean, it has popped. It would, it would fire. You got a test light? I'm putting a test light on the coil. There's often hitches when a brand new engine is first turned over, but Barry takes it personally. Now. Yeah, yeah. So the sparks come out. The I did too. <laughs> the sparks give Barry a clue. He checks the wiring and finds the ground wire wrongly connected. A hundred percent solve the problem. I screwed up. I've been doing a bunch of wiring on the front of the car. I screwed up and put the ground wire on the ignition system. You just keep putting everything together and you keep putting things together and putting things together and once in a while you miss something. It will start up right now.
two days to Reno. Ladies and gentlemen, it's two to all ages. Step right on up here. The silver auto auction in Reno is almost ready to begin. It's got it all. It it Hotels are filled with buyers. Hundreds of cars have been moved across the country for their moment in the sun. But where's Barry White? I like a little fireworks show here. <laughs> the giant 506 John Barrett special won't run. Its 550 horses are still in the stable. All right, let's try this again. If it blows up the alternator, it's on you. 200 bucks. Barry thought the problem was the ground wire. He just wanted to run. It turns out he's right. He just didn't fix it strong enough. It came off the mount. <laughs> Another try takes Barry to a happy place, but he's eating humble pie. Yeah, my mistake. I screwed up and didn't put the ground wire on the, I stripped the wire and didn't put it on the head to ground the ignition system. Uh, the initial hit, it, um, the, the wire probably touched something and grounded out. A little is, but there's, they're still, pump, they're still pumping up, so. Yeah. Uh, I think it's the best motor we've had. That sounds really good. It's very responsive. All systems are go on the El Camino. Time for Chris to make it mean. We just need to toughen this car up a little bit. You know, we're putting the chrome on there and you know, shiny red paint and everything, but uh, we want to give it a little bit more of an aggressive look, so we're going to put this black on the hood, and uh, I think it's going to give it a little bit more of a sinister appearance. After four weeks in the shop and $42,000 worth of parts and labor, 310 hours, all the El Camino needs now are the wheels. Barry's daughter's on the job. Okay, put the lug nuts on. You're done. That's way better. Well, that was a little bit rude, don't you think? Yeah. Anybody got any duct tape? No. <laughs> if you kill me that way, CSI will know. That's rude. Ow! The subtle argent paint job adds another touch of me. <laughs> it's all fun and games until somebody loses an eye. <laughs> Pull so that nice. Jackson out of there. Easy. Perfect. Nice. Welcome to the future. A super muscle truck. I was a little nervous at first because, you know, we're doing a, basically a pickup truck. But after seeing the finished product, I mean, the thing is just awesome. I mean, the car came out gorgeous, I and mean, it's probably the best quality car, frame off. I mean, uh, we did something in three weeks. Some people take three years. I think we did well. I, I think the car came out really nice. It may be a truck, but it has all the comforts. Power steering, air conditioning, new transmission, and a 21st century ride. For Barry's new employee, Bobby, this is as good as it gets. Uh, the color, for one, it's gonna be an outstanding color out in the sunlight. All the chrome trimming and the wheels and the way it sits. The hood scoop, and you know, it's got a big block in it now and it's fully dressed up. It's gonna, it's gonna be a showstopper. Time to see how she runs. Hopefully it'll change what everybody thinks of when they think of muscle cars and, and uh, how you can turn one into a hot rod, take an old 307 El Camino and turn it into a bitchin' car. Yeah, the engine uh, sounds really good and it's definitely got some horsepower. 
We've got a lot of torque converter in it. Very impressive. The motor feels really, really strong. Uh, so far, so good. I'm really happy. Sounds good to the exhaust. I'm happy with it. It's good. It's bitching. If Bobby's dad could see him now, he's helped build not one, but two El Caminos. Barry's brought back Bobby's best memories. Um, I think Bobby will get a kick out of it. It's kind of reminiscent of the one he's got. And I think it's a several steps above what he's doing, but uh, I, he ought to get a kick out of it. He was a big part of the car and helped a lot on it, so I, I think it'll be fun. It'll be fun to have him up there and go through the auction, and uh, he can see what it's all about. Barry's invited Bobby to the auction, and Bobby's dad just might be there, too. He's definitely watching down right now, checking it all out. He's, uh, he's definitely going to be proud of this one. The Reno candy store is open for business. Wow, look at it, a 42 Chevrolet Coupe. Every flavor, vintage, and price range can be found here. Nice. Take a look at it. Done, 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 done. How much? Give me a start. Yeah. One of the last vehicles to arrive hails from Corona, California. A one-of-a-kind Barry White Super Muscle Truck. Barry's fans wanted it, and he's delivered. I think it's going to bring good money. I'm, I'm very, very positive with the car. I haven't seen an El Camino built like this yet. I mean, this, this thing is, is really nice. Little does Barry know, someone's been waiting. We've uh, been tracking, uh, trying to track where his cars are going to be at auction. And I found out he was going to be here at 3 o'clock. We live in Seattle. So we booked a plane and came out, and I'm intending on bidding on it. Now that's got to make the man happy. Beautiful car. Very beautiful car. Very beautiful. It takes a lot of, a lot of time, a lot of energy to get him to this point, compared to a lot of the other cars that you do see here. A lot of people, they like it. They like it a lot. They like the color, they like the way it sits, like the wheels and stuff. So maybe we'll have a couple bidders and they get into bidding war and it goes, you know, where it's supposed to be. You know, it could go high, it could go low, it could not sell it at all, so we don't know. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, look here. There's interest here, but is there money? This restored 68 Chevelle will give Barry some clues. Give it a now T-17-5. Give it a now 20. Give it a now 20 there. Now 22 five, sir. 22,500. Give it a now 5, yes or no. Give it a now 32. Give it a now 32. Yes, sir. I'll be 34, yes or no. 34, 5. Come on! Thank you, Gary. 34,250. The lights are on, ladies and gentlemen. We're selling the car. 34 grand. Although Barry needs way more than that to cover his $42,000 investment, Barry's feeling confident. You know, we're the only guys building super muscle cars. So for them, for us to gauge it off another car, um, this car is pretty extreme. You know, it's got a lot, of, a lot of really nice parts in it. It's a body off car. You know, it, it's all new. It's a 100% new car. I think we got about 20 some miles on the odometer, you know, driving it around. So it's virtually a brand new car. And a lot of the cars coming through here aren't. They're were built and driven a while or whatever, and you know, or they're old cars. There's money and there's fans here. The perfect combination. <laughs> it's showtime in Reno. Bobby's here for his dear departed dad. It's intense, very intense. It's gonna be great. Uh, a little nervous, a little excited. Barry's here for the bucks. So hopefully, you know, there'll be somebody to step up and go over 50. The fans are here to buy super muscle history. You know, there's a collector here that collects Barry's cars and he has a few of his cars and I know they'd be bidding against me, so we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Bring it on. Step right on up here. 1970 Chevrolet El Camino. Generation. This was a long time coming. His fans wanted a truck, but Barry didn't have much to work with. Now, you should be able to do this in four or five days. Old workers' cars were always going to be beat up. <laughs> but they finally found something they could work with. Offer them a thousand bucks cash. Boy, you guys drive a hard bargain. 
There goes the hood. In four weeks, they stripped it down and rebuilt it from the ground up. Not everyone thought it was a great idea. It's goofy looking. I think they're goofy and they're crappy. I think this is the stupidest idea on the planet. But for new boy Bobby, it was destiny. My dad, he just recently passed away in 2000. He's going to be very proud. He's definitely watching down right now, checking it all out. Barry will be happy for all the help he can get. Ladies and gentlemen, the star of the show, done by Barry White. Ladies and gentlemen, Rex to Rich's car right here, 1977 El Camino. Hey, Barry. You made another pretty car, my friend. Thank Beautiful you. automobile. Another super muscle car offered for sale. You should have painted it red, Barry. All right, you have another Money for it. Yeah, baby, yeah, yeah baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at this automobile. Everywhere you look, it's stunning and gorgeous. Let's have a little fun. Look at me to start on this car. I got 10, baby, 20. I'm going to make it 30. 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 A fantastic start, up to the 40s in under one minute. Barry's almost broken even already. But he's here for a profit. He needs more bids. It's dead. It's dead at 45. You gonna sell it? You got it. Yep. Barry's looking at just saving face, but then... 47.5, Two more bidders have entered the fray. Now we have something. 49, and now 49,000, and now 49,000. Come on! Got it? We're 50. We're at 50, so. Yeah! This wreck cost Barry $42,000. He just sold it for $61,500. That's almost 20 grand profit. I was definitely sweating it there in about a little over 40 grand and uh, figured that's where it was going to stop. And then, But they do that sometimes. They'll stall and then pick back up and came uh, 20 grand over that. So, you know, we're, we're, we're good. Barry's good, all right. So is Bobby. There's a piece of his dad in that truck. It was very cool. It was very exciting. It was uh, a little emotional. But the happiest of all is the buyer. This is an anniversary present for his wife. It's our anniversary today. It's our oh, anniversary really? gift to each other. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he came, he saw, he bought. Yeah, I did think I was going to get it in the 40s, but I was willing to go more. Oh, wow, well, listen to that power. Oh, my goodness. 